Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to give you a very high level overview of multi-factor authentication. So this is for beginners only. So if you're already using multi-factor authentication, you probably don't need to watch this video. But for those of you who are new to the idea of multi-factor authentication, let me explain. So today you're probably logging into Office 365 with your username and password. And what multi-factor authentication adds is another method of authenticating or second factor which is where the name multi-factor comes from. Multi-factor authentication works on the principle of something you know and something you have and the something you know would be a username and password. The something you have these days is usually a mobile phone. When multi-factor authentication is enabled for your Office 365 account when you log in with the something you know which is your username and password You'll then be contacted on the something you have, your mobile phone, by Office 365. And it can contact you in three ways. It can contact you by voice, so it can actually call you up and you can then verify who you are. It can send you a text message, so you can use a code to complete the authentication. Or you can use a mobile app on your phone. So by far the easiest approach is to use the mobile app. And Microsoft has its own mobile app that can be downloaded from your relevant store. But then there are other mobile apps from vendors like Google and Symantec that also work with Office 365. So when multi-factor authentication has been enabled for your account, the next time you log in, you'll use your username and password in exactly the same way. And then you'll be asked for additional information. This is something you only have to do once. And this is required to set up how you'd like to do your second factor of authentication. And here you have the choice of an authentication phone, which is any mobile, an office phone, which has already been preset for you, and then the mobile app. I'll cover how to set up multi-factor authentication in more detail in another video. So the last thing I wanted to say was the fact that multi-factor authentication isn't necessarily just something you know and something you have. It can also be something that you are. And this method or factor will include biometric scanning of things like fingerprints, retina, or even full facial scans. Office 365 has already started to integrate fingerprint scanning into its authentication method. So expect to see more of that in the future. Okay, so that's your beginner's guide to multi-factor authentication in Office 365. I hope this video helped. If it did, then please subscribe and give me a like. And let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching.